Hey guys, what's up? I am Tony Marine and Derry from Talks Animation. And in this Blender 3D tutorial, I will talk about the core face loops that will enable you to create any kind of human or humanoid face and head. I am talking about modeling normal and stylized human heads, aliens, and even monkeys. Basically, any character that has a facial resemblance to human beings can be modeled using this technique. The core face loops can also be extended to model any creature by employing your imagination. So, without any further ado, let's get on with the tutorial. Whenever I finish modeling ahead, I put the model through a test using extreme facial expressions to check if there are any abnormal wrinkles and folds as the character moves from one extreme pose to another. As you can see in this case, both our main tutorial character, who I call Blend-R, or Blend-R, seems like Blender, and the monkey, which is trying very hard to ape him, don't have any awkward deformations. The reason why they don't show horrible deformations is because I have used the core face loops modeling technique on both of them, as you can see. Let us take a look at some examples. William Vaughan, one of the leading 3D modeling gurus who used this method, has a portfolio on Art Station that shows several doodle heads that he has created using this method. Here you can see some of the works that he has done, and from the wireframe renders, you can see that they have a similar, if not identical, topological flow of vertices around the main facial features. These are absolutely fascinating. And this was the primary reason why I decided to follow in his footsteps and find out about the core face loops. So what are these core face loops? Quite a mystery, right? Core face loops are the loops that you need to create in order to mimic the natural flow of the facial muscles in a human or humanoid face. When done correctly, your model will have natural facial deformations when you animate the face. Now, in the same way that a flat image is wrapped around the face during UV mapping and texturing, the core face loops can also be derived and understood better from a flat plane. Let me show you. I will take a plane and divide it into an 8x8 grid. Then I will take these first faces and insert them once using the I key. This will give the basis of what we call the face mask. Then I will take these four faces, delete the inner vertices, and then using the W key, convert the resulting loop into a circle. I will then extrude the circle inwards a couple of times. And now, as you can see, I have the loops that go around the eyes, and also the loop that forms the face mask. Next, I will choose these faces and once more, delete the inner vertices, convert the resultant loop into a circle and extrude inwards four times. After that, I will go ahead and close these faces in the middle and this is what normally forms the lips. As you can see, we have the resemblance of a UV map that will wrap around the face. The core face loops are named in the following manner. The eye loops, the face mask loop, the outer laugh line, the inner laugh line, which also goes around the nose, and the mouth loops. The other faces are what flow around the rest of the head, as you can see from these two. Now take note. This is an illustration of the core face loops, and it cannot be used in its current form to create a face, unless you want to create a character like Lord Voldemort from the Harry Potter movies, or Spider-Man, or even Deadpool. The common characteristic of all these movie characters is the fact that they do not have a visible nose or a nose that extends out too far from the face. Like I mentioned when I showed the artwork of William Vaughan, the core face loops method is very versatile in that you can create a number of faces that have an identical number of vertices. In this clip, I used shape keys to change the form of a basic head into other types of heads all having the same number of vertices. However, in reality, each face and head that you model will be unique in its own ways. When modeling using this technique, you start off at the eyes and the number of vertices which you use will either be eight, 10 or 12. The number of vertices that you choose will be determined by the width of the face that you're going to model. 
Let me illustrate this further. This is a model of an old man who has a very slim head. And that is why I began modeling the eyes with just eight vertices. The same case goes for the Voldemort character, which I showed you before. Now, the majority of my models usually start off with 10 vertices. And uh, once you get used to this technique, you will realize that this is where most of the characters fall in. You can clearly see that from this model that I made when I was practicing how to model the head of Bob Parr, popularly known as Mr. Incredible. In this case, I used 10 vertices. Now, in rare cases where you have to model a character with a very wide face, you may use 12 vertices, as I did when practicing modeling this Baby Yoda wannabe character. Using a higher number of vertices for wider heads ensures that there is no abnormal stretching around the mouth and cheek areas when animating your character. In my experience, using core face loops has allowed me to create various heads and faces, and I have considerably shortened the time I take to do so. I nowadays take about 10 to 15 minutes to model a simple head like this one, and uh, it can take me a little while longer to model a complicated head like the one we will be creating in this tutorial series. As you go through the head modeling part of this tutorial, you will see step by step how I go about using this technique. The process basically involves creating a basic head and then adding details, making sure that you don't break the topology of the face loops to get to the final model. I will not go into the process in this video since I will lay it out in the next tutorial, which you can access by clicking on the card that appears at the end of this particular tutorial. Now, I have had a lovely time sharing this technique with you. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so you are notified whenever I post more videos. Have a happy blending time and see you in the next one.